The crowd is getting very, very Riley, and I love to hear it. This is a monster matchup. Muhammad Light with 87% win rate versus Samuel Basoto's 77. Let's see how this match shapes up. Maybe a bit of a mirror to start. You know, cycle could be anything, could be minor, could be hog, but it looks like Mo is using Royal Giant. Juicy, if I, uh, if I go like 40 seconds without commentating and I just have my mouth open, just give me a slight nudge. Make, make sure that I'm actually, you know, still with everybody else. Royal Giant Phoenix Fisherman at the bridge to start off Bomb Tower. He's gonna get taken out really quickly. I can't help but think that was a mistake. Is Mo like gonna win this match already? Right there, Monk able to get the RG down, but the Phoenix is going to be able to wake up and take everything out. Mo with a brilliant start, only giving up a slight damage. And Basoto going to struggle against this. Forces out a snowball as well. Muhammad Light in a brilliant spot right now. This is exactly how he drew it up. Basoto on the other side, probably Probably pretty upset. Yeah, I can't help but wonder about that bomb tower placement. Everything's settled though. After everything, Mo Light, Sim, they're both about even an elixir, but Mo having a very solid damage lead. Not to mention Mo also having the evil Royal Giant up next. Right here, it does appear that Basoto is going to be running a balloon deck. We're seeing a lot of balloon this weekend. Always a fun card to watch because it's so important to recognize what cards are out of cycle right wow. now. Basoto thinks that it's the perfect time to go in. The archers are going to take out the Phoenix all the way. This is going to be a balloon on tower. Mo taking a ton of damage right now. That's going to get another shot. At no, wow. Basoto not able to get the third shot from the balloon. Balloon doesn't get another shot, but this RG is going to get a ton. RG goes. Phoenix on tower. Tower going down before Double Elixir is even in play, and this push is not done yet. Everything in the pocket forces out the arrows. The archers are going to come down on the board, going to be able to take out the RG. Basoto probably going to set himself up with another loon push. Not going to try and go in with a miner. And there we go, the distraction. And that is brilliant from Basoto. He's not going to overspend. Think that his loon is going to go in front. And right there, Mo gets it. He's trying to bring the monk back, and he finally gets it. Forces Basoto to have the loon cross with nothing to protect. That was a beautiful cat and mouse game from both of these brilliant pros. And it goes down, only 20 seconds left on the clock. Another balloon inbound. Mo Light does have the Phoenix here to defend, plus a Rage Arrows. Mo Light is rubbing his hands together. He knows he's got this win in the bag. Yeah, that was, I mean, that was a lot of great plays in a row from both of these players, but right there, the Loon going in front, nothing to protect it, and Mo gonna defend that easily, starting off the set. One and oh for Mo. 1-0 for Mo and Sam in a situation where you need to win two games in a row for a first sweep. And I love Sam, but I got to point out some big mistakes here in this last match. That... Crowd having a lot of fun. One of these players just should listen. Bring out the Sparky, bring out the Bowler, and you give the crowd what they want. Mo. Instead, we see some hoggy Q from Sam Earthquake doing fantastic here. Mo with the Bomb Tower plus Evil Archers. I would love to see a hoggy Q in our matchup, but it is going to be Minor Poison versus hoggy Q here. You ready for this big word? I'm ready. Mo giving an inquisitive look towards his screen after seeing what he saw. Fascinating. Yeah. I started yeah. off strong and then I struggled. <laughs> I was so excited about using the word inquisitive. All right, there we go. 45 seconds into the match. Basoto going to be running Hog EQ. And Mo using the minor Monk Loon. We're just seeing it from so many of these players. Loon is going to get pulled. I know everybody thought that it wasn't. That's just what Mortar likes to do. It, it likes to scare you, make you think that it's not going to get pulled. Okay, another big thing to mention here, it is Balloon at the bottom for Mo, Hockey Q from Sam. We saw a similar matchup earlier today, but the big difference here is Sam does not have a building that targets air. He has only the mortar. The other thing to mention Protect is Sam Obosoto using the little prince. That's a card that can only be on the board once at a time. So later in this match, a Monk plus Balloon combo could be very detrimental for Sam. Yeah, that's a really, really good point. He can't cycle it willy-nilly. <laughs> He's going to struggle. I mean, it's po potentially he can, because potentially he can go in with the Mortar plus the Ice Spirit, and it sh should be able to defend. But 
DeSoto is going to struggle. He's going to always have to be aware of how both of these players are set up with their cycle. The other thing is Moe's last card should be arrows. Arrows are the natural counter to guards, giving him a very good advantage for breaking through with his minor. As long as he has a prediction arrows in the night cycle, it's gonna be much more difficult for Sam to defend. Oh, going to be able, or going to give up a little bit of damage. Arrows coming down, and this is exactly what we're talking about. Mortar is the only defense against this loon. That is a two HP minor on top of the tower. Tower locked onto the loon, so that mortar is, or that minor is going to work on the left side. Evil Knight defends the Evil Archers. Ice Spear to try and keep it as alive as possible versus guards. He wants to counter push with it. Miner coming in from Mo. Not going to be picked up by the guards. Here comes the Hog Raider with Evil Knight taking Earthquake on the bomb tower. Archers plus the Monk. Is it going to be able to get a wow. shot? It does. Tower down to 1386. Busoto just pleading with his opponent. Please, let me get this to a game number three. He tries to block at the bridge. Mo knows that he's trying to do that, so he goes for his own guard. Monk ability does not pop. Little Prince is doing its best, but this mortar's going down, and this balloon is looking very high in HP, and this snowball is going to reset that Prince charge up. And right there, that's going to get two shots if he does nothing about it. 600 HP for the tower. Earthquake going to come in for Masoto, trying to get the hog on top of the tower, and it absolutely wow. will. Gets the tower down to 790. Mo with snowball arrows plus the miner in order for chip damage. Guards to protect, not going to allow the monk to get the ability, and it does get in the tower down under 300 HP. Hawk does not get the shot. Log comes through. Miner is picked up by the ice spear and the knight, but the snowball pushes the knight away. Miner on tower. Ladies and gentlemen, Muhammad Light taking a two off sweep versus Samuel. Basoto not going to be able to bring it to a game number three. Mo, are you kidding me? Are we going to actually see this again, losing round number one? And then he's going to try and work his way up from the, the lower bracket? This is, he, he knows he's not supposed to do that, right?